Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. In this video, we're going to talk about MRCP. You're probably wondering why I just don't make a simple post about the solution I'm about to give you. The reason for that is if you've seen my YouTube videos, you've seen that I often have one specific topic. Within that topic, I give some tips and tricks which can be adapted across other things. So thereby, it's very difficult to just make one simple post and I really want to use the time to create a video like this to show you guys so you can uh, be able to test it out at your scanner and so on and so on. Nonetheless, uh, the reason for making this video is because we went from one software to another one and I saw there are some differences. Stick around and I will show you. For those who are new, my name is Bagni again. I'm an Amarayo videographer. In my channel, we cover things from basic to advanced Amarayo topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing way. So, like I told you in the beginning of the video, the reason for making this video is because we went from an old IERA E11 E software to now a solar fit upgrade to XA70. First things first, uh, be very careful just using the old sequences from the old software to the new uh, scan a new software because there are many changes there might be many changes in behind the sequences which you don't know and you just keep on using your old one thereby i recommend you to go to the Siemens tree and use new from there this is just an example of many uh, our old mocp from the e11e is is good it's robust it works most of the time and it gives you a good image quality nonetheless using that specific sequence on the x 70 it doesn't work well it takes long and there's something very very wrong with the sequence so it makes wondering was my sequence like this or is this something strange going on here that, thereby i recommend to go to siemens tree and use from there i did it and i was still confused because the image was great but i really missed that that, that extra punch of of the brightness of the mrcp for the bile duct and the dark background and all that so I found a, a way to get around this. I think there's something wrong in the Siemens 3. I'm not sure why the reason is for the like this. I think there was a mistake or there might be some purpose behind this when the protocol was set in the Siemens 3. I'm not sure, but it makes a huge impact. I will show you on the scanner. Let's go. All right, we are at the XA70. So what you do now, go to the Siemens 3, locate the MRCP. You can either go to our domain, library, 3D, or if it's difficult, you can just uh, write here on the search text MRCP and it will highlight those MRCP sequences for you, like that. So you have two choices. You have MRCP here with the Caperinia acceleration mode, the parallel imaging mode. Or you have the old school TSE uh, MRCP. Or you have this 3D space now with the compressed sensing. Okay. So there are three, in this case, three different choices. So let's open the first one with Caperinia. We go to resolution, we go to filter, and you can see here the, the pre-scan normalizes off. So it says normalizes off. Thereby, there is some differences on the image quality. It should be on, from my opinion, because that makes a huge impact. So it's off here. At the beginning, I didn't know that. I, it, I took the sequence, tested it out. The image quality was great, but however, the, 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 it was missing this punch of quality. So let's go now to the compressed sensing, open this one, go to filter, it's still off. So that's one, that's, that one is also off. Let's go to the library, uh, clinical libraries, general. Let's locate MRCP at the bottom right there. So at the bottom here is just the with the Kuiperinia. Resolution and filter and let's check it out. You can see it's still off. So it should be on like I told you and I'm going to show you some examples. And I, I did make some mistakes using the sequence directly from here at the beginning. I didn't understand why the image quality turned out like it did. Uh, but nonetheless, I also want to show you how you can retrospective and get the good uh, pre-scan on and get good images without need to re-scan the patient if you, let's say, you forget to turn it on. Okay, the first thing I noticed was the pre-scan is off on this image. This is a MIP. Pre-scan is off. You can see there are some high spots and, and low spots. So in the brightness here, it's very bright, bright there, but in the area here is dark. So it's not homogeneous. Pre-scan normalized makes the image more homogeneous. Okay, remember that. And then the first thing I noticed was when well, I'm going to do, uh, let's say, VRT or cinematic, I went in here, there, and there, and let's just choose this preset. I must be my name there. And you try to open it and whatever you do with the window level, it just doesn't work. It, it really gets dark and you don't get that fully brightness you really want. So it's difficult like this. It's impossible. 
So let's close this one and let's now show, let me show you the pre-scan on, okay? All right, so the pre-scan is on on this one. First things first is that you can see it's more homogeneous. If the brightness is more homogeneous, you get that kind of punch on images uh, on the periphery here as well. However, let me show you the VRT. You can see right away, it's much easier to make the window leveling. It's much easier to push the boundaries when it comes to the window leveling. So it's totally, totally different. Okay, so now let's compare these two next to each other. All right, so this is the two next to each other. So pre-scan is off, pre-scan is on. This is where I want to have it. I want to have the punch of, um, of the bile duct. So I hope you can see what I mean. I, I, this is more homogeneous throughout the images. This is high, high, low, low, low area here. So yeah, it should be on. However, I'm going to show you how you can retrospective if you somehow did a scan like this where you forgot to turn it on, you have the possibilities to retrospective turn it on without doing need to do the rescan. All right, so let's go here. This is where you can see all your patients, whatever you have scanned. And within that patient, you locate the sequence, the specific sequence you really want to do the retrospective. Remember the name. So this one is a T2 space AMRSP. And then after that, mark that, just click on once. And you go to this job view. It's a, it's a briefcase or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Just push that briefcase and you will come in here. In here, you have the opportunity to check the network. If something doesn't go over to PAX or something is wrong, you can check, check that during uh, under the network or you can go to MR reconstructions. This is where you want to be. So inside the MR reconstructions, and the data will be there uh, for a very long time, actually. Uh, it depends on how many patients you are scanning. So you can go way back, let's say two, three, four days back and still able to do the retrospective, even though you turn on and off the scanner. So if you do many, many patients, the raw data, as you can see here, will just delete. The older one will be deleted and new one will come. So it just automatically deletes itself. Whenever you don't see it, it means that it's already been deleted. Okay, there's no raw data, the raw data. If the raw data is there, you locate the sequence. You can check the patient name first and then locate that specific sequence. Just click on it once. And then you go over here. You go to what they call edit protocol for retro record. Okay, just click on that one and you go in here. So in here, you can see you have the possibility to change the TRT and all that, but no, it's not that easy. You can, you can play with the pre-scan, the filter and all that, but not the field view, the TR and all that. So let's locate that pre-scan. So for this one, the pre-scan is already on, right? So let's, let's say it was off like this. So now we turn on the pre-scan. And after you've done that, you know, whatever you want to change, the filter and so on and so on, after that, push the add button. That, this is very important. So you can see down here, something is happening down here. There are some tasks now for being able to do the pre-scan on. And Siemens has also some presets here with like the B1 filter, Dixon swap and so on and so on. So if you get Dixon swap, you can just click on that one and push the add button, then the presets is on and you can just do the uh, retrospective. But now I want to show you the image comment. This is important, push the add on. You can see down here, sequence image comment. So here you have the possibilities to write whatever you want. If you do a lot of retrospective reconstructions, you sometimes you maybe have one filter and another filter, you can name it. So it's a, it's a it's a name on the, on the sequence, which makes you easier to delineate between each other to see what's, what you did on that specific sequence. Because doing a lot of retrospective, it's very difficult to hold track. So I wrote now pre-scan on, and then I just push the start button. That's it. And it would automatically work from zero to 100%. After that, you will see, do it under your patient. In the low bottom, you will see the new uh, sequence, which is called RR which means that it's retrospective reconstructed. So you can go in there, do the uh, post-processing and send it to Paris. It works great. What is it guys? I hope you find this video valuable. Nonetheless, I have a question for you before we close up. Did you notice this pre-scan was off on the newer software like the, like the XA70? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, you get a ding ding whenever new videos from me are coming up. Until next time, take care and I see you around. Peace out.